Greetings lovelies, it's Emmy. Welcome back to another how-to video. Today we're continuing our month celebration of Halloween and I'm going to show you how to carve a pumpkin. For those of you that don't live in the U.S. or don't know about Halloween, Halloween is a holiday that we celebrate here in the U.S. I believe it's celebrated in Canada too, and, but I think it has its traditions as a harvest festival, I think, that it was kind of a carryover from, from Europe. At any rate, so the way we celebrate in the U.S., mostly kids, adults, some adults too, dress up in costumes and as soon as it gets dark, they go to their neighborhood with a little bucket, knock on doors, and say trick or treat, and are given candy, much loved by children and adults too. Another part of the tradition is carving a pumpkin. It dates back to gourds, carving gourds, and with faces to chase or ward off evil spirits. We call them jack-o'-lanterns. This is just, you know, one of those kits. You can get them for at the dollar store. It makes all the difference. If you want to make one of these knives yourself, it's really easy. This is what the knife looks like in the package. You can make one yourself. If you have a coping saw or a hacksaw, you can just take the hacksaw blade or the coping saw blade remove it and just put some tape on it to make a handle and it's serrated so it makes the cutting really really easy and fast so let's get started i'm going to show you how to carve a pumpkin here we go so start by hollowing out your pumpkin by cutting a large hole in the bottom remove the base and then use a large spoon to scrape out all of the membranes and the seeds I suggest taking some time and really scraping out the inside of your pumpkin, trying to get all the fibers out as possible, and it should look something like this. Once your pumpkin's all hollowed out, take a paper towel and wipe down the surface. If you're not using a pattern, you can go ahead and skip this step. When taping the pattern to the pumpkin, create little pleats like this, and it'll help it take the shape of the pumpkin. Next, either use the pattern transfer tool or push pin to go over your pattern and transfer the pattern onto your pumpkin. You should use a fair amount of pressure, otherwise the pattern won't transfer. Once the pattern is transferred, you're ready to start carving your pumpkin. I found using my fingertip to help support the blade help keep it from bending, and then you just continue with a sawing action and cut along your pattern lines. Once you've finished with the piece, just stick your hand inside the pumpkin and push from the inside out to push the piece out. Then follow up with your blade and clean up any extra bits. Then you're ready to stick it on your porch and with a candle. Happy Halloween! Okay, begin with separating your seeds from the pulp. A really easy technique is just dumping the pulp into water and shaking it around and the seeds will float to the top. Then just use a slotted spoon and scoop the seeds into your colander. Once the seeds are separated, give them a good rinse and try to get as much of the pulp off as possible and then put them into a pot of boiling water with a little bit of salt. Boil them for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, drain them onto a cookie sheet and use a paper towel to remove most of the moisture. Drizzle the seeds with some olive oil, give them a good shake so they're nice and even, and bake them in a 325 oven for about 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, give them a stir, then bake them again for another 8 to 10 minutes, and then sprinkle them liberally with salt. Okay, so I am back with the finished pumpkin seeds. This is how they look. And as you can see, they're not, they're not colored at all. There's no, they're not browned at all. You can eat them whole. And they're okay. They could be crunchier. Or you can take the seed, pop out the seed inside, which is kind of the way I prefer to do it. And there's the pumpkin seed. It's kind of green. I think in Spanish they're called pepitas. And they're pretty good. If you've never had a pumpkin seed before, to me they taste a lot like sunflower seeds. So there you go. Hope you guys enjoy that and hope you guys learned something and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks as always for watching. Cheers. Bye. I've always been envious of baseball players that can pour handfuls of sunflower seeds in their mouth and spit out the holes. I just don't have that kind of talent. I don't have that oral dexterity. Get your head out of the gutter. You're gross.